In this tutorial, we'll look at how DBSIM extracts metadata from Kafka streams, classifies and curates that, and makes it available as part of its data catalog. Let's begin. So here we have, uh, I mean, we have start, started a Kafka server, as you can see. Uh, I have two topics uh, here. Uh, one is an example of, uh, let's say, Kafka being used as an enterprise service bus where we are feeding, uh, posting new customer data, perhaps from a, uh, from a web log, which contains uh, customer profile information. And we look at this data. And the other one is, uh, let's say, a mobile device or an IoT stream that is feeding, uh, let's say, uh, customer or, or uh, you know, device responses or people's responses from an IoT stream regarding certain events. All right. So for the new customer, I am uh, here is my consumer. Here. Okay. Uh, so here I have started the stream and uh, we can confirm that uh, I'm receiving the data inside the stream. To summarize, we have two streams. Uh, or two topics, I should say, in the Kafka server that are running, there is data that is being sent to those streams. All right, let's catalog this Kafka stream into DVSum and see how it looks. Uh, so I go to the DVSum interface. I'm going to click on data sources, add a new source, add Kafka as a source type, give it a name. Uh, I'm going to connect to it. So to find the host where our cluster is running and uh, the port and the credentials and save it. All right, now let's go ahead and click on scan. So at this point, uh, DVSum is connecting to the Kafka cluster and it is going to uh, extract the metadata from the, uh, from the Kafka cluster. In terms of modeling, uh, topics inside Kafka become equivalent to data sets, like we would have in a database or a data lake. Uh, messages posted on those topics become records against those data sets. And the content of the messages, like properties, uh, attributes, they become equivalent to data elements or fields inside that data set. All right, so the scan is completed. Let's look at a quick stats about what it found. So this is uh, our uh, scan summary page. It found three total tables. So we had two topics. We'll see it. I think it identifies the producers. Uh, and uh, it identified of all the different data sets. It found 32 uh, properties or columns. It, uh, based on entities, it has automatically classified 25 of them. We'll take a look at them. And it also suggests new glossary items that we would add in the data catalog. But we'll focus on the scan results. So let's uh, go to the data dictionary. So data dictionary is a list of all the data sets and we will focus on the three recently refreshed ones. So as we can see, the new customer's topic uh, becomes a data set and the event IoT, IoT stream uh, topic becomes a data set. Uh, it also brings in producers. Uh, let's look at the first one, which is the customers. So the basic information, first you can see that, you know, it automatically tries to uh, curate a description and basing, based on the number of attributes and the type of attributes, it says, hey, this looks like a master data table. Um, it automatically suggests, yeah, so there, there are other classification we can do. If you look at the data tab, and I'm going to first look at it in the dictionary view, you can see these are all the properties that were in the stream or in the messages in the stream that it identified as uh, fields. Uh, if there is, uh, and the second thing that it will do is, I mean, data type, it captures. The entity is where it links it to any standard classification. So for example, IP space address becomes IP address, phone one, phone two looks like phone numbers, state looks like an address state, education level is education degree, marital status, etc. So it has, um, of all the 21 columns, it has mostly uh, uh, linked them already to entities. It uh, also profiles the data, so of the sa sample, sample of that data. So in particular case, let's say state, uh, we can look at the profile of this data and we can see how many records are uh, by different states. So, so sampling of the profiling uh, of all, all the columns. Uh, it calculates the data quality, uh, completeness, and uh, range of values. 
So this is all the information right off the bat it captures from the Kafka stream. Uh, if you look at the other data set also very quickly, event IO stream, IoT stream. Uh, in this case, our data was, uh, if you look at our entities uh, or attributes, so these were all the different, uh, you know, attributes like uh, the device type, IP address, event ID, rating, and liked. And again, you know, if there are entities that already exist, it classifies them. If not, then it will suggest the entity. So this is all the metadata that DVSum is able to extract out of a Kafka stream right off the bat automatically. Of course, the remaining uh, or, or additional activities like uh, further curation, reporting, tracking that would uh, usually happen as part of data governance can then happen inside DVSum. Uh, of course, all of this information that is collected becomes uh, is automatically indexed and it's searchable. So for example, if I were to find all the places where IP address uh, is being used, it would identify that you know there are five, uh, in, in this particular case, we found in the uh, new customers topic, the IP address, we also found it in an event IoT stream. So this was a quick tutorial on how DVSum extracts metadata from a Kafka stream.